just give this a quick little shot here. It's literally got like all the juice. <laughs> it's got all the juice. I think I have to check and see what's going on with the ESC. Pretty sure it's off, right? <laughs> all right, we'll be back. Looks like it might be all right over here. I know it's still gonna be wet. Diamond dust really holds a lot of moisture. The reason why it holds moisture is because it's so powdery. So it kind of like absorbs. And that puddle is literally always there. Gonna try and stay away from that. All right, so before we get into the real meat and potatoes of this video, we do have a YouTube super thanks. This one's for you. First up on the platter is Michael Van Kirk, 3576. $2 super thanks for the thrashing a beautiful scale RC. Then we have Johnny Haberfield, 721. Five bucks, always wear boots guy, you know it. And then we've got Jeremy Stewart, holy brutal bashing Batman. Yeah, that was a bash, man. And then we've got Jeremy Stewart, $2 for the last couple of videos. Definitely appreciate that, man. And now on to the video. Over here at Diamond Dust to rip the Mongrel X. Is this the ultimate XRT slash X-Max? Because that's what this is. This was Trash Bag Reborn. Really what the question is, is can this thing survive? <laughs> ah, dude. I don't know. So... And we gotta, I almost grabbed the wrong remote. See, I've got a remote that says Max on it, and I grabbed that first, and I started shoving batteries in. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I realized that little piece right there was missing. So, here we go. Remote on. Truck on. And this is what you normally hear. Yeah, guy, it's got a Max 6. So we'll see how this thing can do over here. It's been quite a while since I've ripped Mongrel X. Pretty good truck the way it sits, man. It's a pretty damn good truck the way it sits. It took me a little bit to set up the GoPro. All right, so here we go. Boy, this stuff is so wet. So, it runs. <laughs> this conversion has really caused me to very much enjoy the X-Max slash XRT just because of what this thing can do.
They moved the front end loader closer. So that's a bad thing. But look at this. It looks like I was never here. Almost did, they almost did a jump right there. I'm just gonna do a couple of light jumps. Just to get a handle on it. Couple of light jumps. what happened before stink opinion look at that dude how do I find this stuff dude check that out pinions warm that pinion it's not hot it's just warm that pinion blew off it's an 18 tooth this is the issue that I have with my X max pinions keep blowing off this is the issue that I consistently have with my Mongrel XRT. I gotta figure, and this is double, this is double locked too. I did have this down. So I'm gonna go back to the car and see if I've got the tools to go ahead and toss this on because I really wasn't done yet. And this thing, I don't know, maybe that's enough warmth to pop it off. But yeah, I don't know, man. I'll try to get just a little bit of the dirt off before I Throw it on, see this, see how it all the stuff gets stuck into the wheels, man? It's a nasty, nasty place to go. All right. Earl, guy, see this? Five bucks. <laughs> Protect the surface of your vehicle. All right. Moda, I think has some warmth to it. But I don't have the um, cover, which is fine. Whatever. Ah, looks like I chipped. Ah, damn. I chipped some teeth on that. Crap. Dang it. I have a suspicion this ain't gonna work. Back that one off. Back that one off. And I have it going this way. Actually, you know what? It looks like it's gonna be okay. So I am gonna crank this one down right in the middle of the teeth. That is sufficiently cranked. And that one is also sufficiently cranked. Cool, so that was it. Not a big deal. But um, yeah, this the diamond dust, man, it's, it's so, it's like, uh, I mean, look at it. Dude, it's almost like snow. See what I'm saying? <laughs> see how you like, see how it sticks together? So it's a real bad, bad stuff. I think I might take this down that way. I wonder if this will survive the trip. You know what? I'm going to do this the right way. I really do like this conversion. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in the trunk where it should be. 
And I'm gonna drive down, down there. So down there, there's a different section. Down there, it's not as, um, well, I mean, there's no jumps and stuff. It's just fast ripping. And I think that's what I wanna do right now. So, see you in a second. If you're looking at this place over here, it almost is like more wet. Got like a circle thing there. All right, oh, I need the remote. Need the remote, guy. Uh, X Max. Remote on. I'm also trying out my um, wing mount. So I've got a new designed um, wing mount. It's called the Minimal Mount. <laughs> minimal Mount or Mini Mount. Let's try this again. I didn't put the remote on. Oh no, something's not sounding good. Sound like the gears are self-destructing. Yeah. That pinion flew off again. Yeah, I think now this time the pinion's probably gone. Holy Jesus. Oh, what is that? What the fuck? Well, that's it. Oh, it's there. It just literally slipped, dude. Yeah, oh no, it's done. No, going down in a blaze of glory. That, uh, yeah. No, damn it. That gear is done. All right, well, whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to buy like a Traxxas gear or something. Maybe like Robertson Racing. Uh, I do have a um, replacement spur, just obviously not with me. But uh, is my XRT or is my Mongrel XRT the ultimate? I think I've got some uh, spur to pinion alignment issues. I think that's why it has a tendency to walk it off so easy. I, I cranked that, I cranked that pinion on. So what happens is if your alignment between your spur gear and your pinion, meaning the motor just must be slightly kicked. If it's kicked this way, like you know what I'm saying? If this alignment is incorrect, which I believe it is. Look at this gear, this gear survived. So this gear is mint. But if the, um, if this shaft is not properly aligned to this spur, Meaning if this motor is just tweaked enough this way, it can cause that gear to walk off. Because on power, it doesn't matter how tight, and this is what I'm remembering now. It doesn't matter how tight that I have. I should probably shut this off. Is it off? Yeah. It doesn't matter how tight that I have that. Just, just that torque, just that gear mesh pressure of a slight misalignment can cause that thing to literally push off and i really think that's what's happening because you, i mean dude i cranked that and it's a double it's a double uh it's a double set screw a grub screw it's a double screwed locked pinion so <laughs> i gave it a good crank without breaking the stupid driver if I had Loctite, it, it still just doesn't work because the alignment, it just literally just walks it off. So anyways, Zarcy Guy Garage, I gave it a shot. I got to look into, I got to look into what's going on with this. I might have to do that thing that Earl did with the special screws and washers and all that other garbage. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll do like a metal motor mount or something. Start turning this thing into the ultimate. When this thing does run in its configuration that it's in, when it does run, it runs stinking awesome. I hated the X-Max. And the XRT just doesn't seem to me like 
It doesn't seem like the XRT is like the deal. It doesn't seem like it's it for me. But this Mongol X, this Mongol X definitely seems like a good balance, a good balance <laughs> between the two uh, RCs. X-Max body, clips on to the XRT with the wing. You just gotta, um, you just gotta mod the back of the body a touch. So, like I said, I'm out ripping it up. What are you doing today? I don't, ah, Christ. That's what happened before. That pinion flew off again. <laughs>